Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am VC Pramod with the Midday News. The headlines Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold bilateral talks with Saudi King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and top leaders to address future investment initiative forum in Riyadh Dialogue respecting sovereignty and non-interference is key to peace and security in West Asia region says Prime Minister in an interview to Arab News European Union parliamentary delegation arrives in Srinagar to meet JNK government and civil society representatives Board examinations for 10th class get underway in Kashmir division and winter zone of Jammu region. President Ram Nath Kovin gives away first national CSR awards, urges corporate world to be socially responsible. And in badminton, Sana Nehwal and Lakshya Sen to begin quest for BWF World Tour title in Germany today. India and Saudi Arabia will today sign several key agreements including in the field of oil and gas, renewable energy, defense and civil aviation. The pacts will be signed after delegation level talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in Riyadh. Prime Minister Modi who reached Riyadh last night will also hold a bilateral meeting with Saudi King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Mr Modi will address the third session of Saudi Arabia's Future Investment Initiative Forum this evening where he will talk about India's economy, its challenges and opportunities for equitable growth and prosperity. The forum is called the Davos of Desert. A report from our special correspondent. Before addressing the third session of Saudi Arabia's Future Investment Initiative Forum, Prime Minister Modi will meet the top Saudi leadership and the two countries will sign several agreements to boost bilateral relations. India's relations with Saudi Arabia have been on an upswing over the last few years and Riyadh is New Delhi's fourth largest trading partner. Recently, Saudi Arabia said that it is looking at investing 100 billion dollars in India in areas of energy, refinery, petrochemicals, infrastructure, agriculture, minerals and mining. Saudi Arabia has been one of the largest and reliable suppliers of India's energy needs. The two countries have traditionally enjoyed close and friendly relations and Prime Minister Modi's visit is expected to further boost it. With Devakar, Kanchan Prasad, AIR News, Riyadh. The Prime Minister met King Abdullah II of Jordan in Riyadh today. Both the leaders exchanged views on working closely together to strengthen the ties across sectors, especially trade and investment, human resource development and people to people ties. Prime Minister has stressed on the need for a balanced approach to resolve the conflict in West Asia while respecting the principles of sovereignty and non-interference in each other's internal matters. He said India shares excellent bilateral relations with all the countries in the region and a very large Indian diaspora reside in the region. The Prime Minister told Arab News that a dialogue process that encourages the participation of all stakeholders is important to bring peace and security in this region. The Prime Minister expressed confidence that under the leadership of King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bilateral relations between India and Saudi Arabia will only grow stronger saying stable oil prices are crucial for the growth of the global economy Mr Modi praised the kingdom's role as an important and reliable source of India's energy requirements the prime minister also said that India has undertaken many reforms to create a business friendly environment and to ensure that it remains a major driver of global growth and stability Mr Modi said during this visit the two countries are going to sign an agreement on a strategic partnership council which will begin a new era of cooperation across sectors Let us now go live to our correspondent Devakar covering the prime minister's visit in Riyadh uh, Devakar what is the fine print of the prime minister's interview to Arab News Well Pramod in the interview prime minister touched upon a range of issues not only related to India and Saudi Arabia relations but also problems in West Asia and how the region can move towards peace. Mr. Modi said India and Saudi Arabia share similar security concerns and, uh, and the cooperation between the two nations, particularly in the field of counterterrorism, security and strategic issues, is progressing very well. Uh, apart from this, he also plays Saudi Arabia's role as an important and reliable source of India's energy requirement. Besides, the Prime Minister said the two countries have been working together 
within the G20 to reduce inequality and promote sustainable development. In this interview, he also highlighted several reforms measures taken by his government for ease of doing business and said that initiatives like, like Make in India, Digital India, Skill India, Swaksh Bharat, Smart Cities and Startup India are offering a lot of opportunity to foreign investors. Pramod. Thank you, Devaka, for that update. A delegation of over 20 MPs from European countries arrived in Srinagar this afternoon. The delegation comprises members of the European Parliament from Italy, Britain, France, Germany and Poland. The visiting MP shared their views ahead of the visit and said it will provide an opportunity to have a first-hand account of the situation on the ground. It's a good opportunity for us to, to come here and first-hand hear what the situation is in Kashmir, how the changes are going to be affected, and also for us now to go into Kashmir as a, um, a foreign delegation and to be able to see first-hand for ourselves what is happening on the ground. The delegation has a series of meetings in Srinagar. These include a briefing at Army 15 Corps headquarters at Badami Bar Cantonment in Srinagar on the overall security situation, including along the LOC in JNK. The other meetings include those with delegations of residents, owners of houseboats and others. The MP's delegation is the first international group to visit Kashmir after the government's decision to scrap JNK special status under Article 370 and bifurcating the state into two union territories. The delegation met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi yesterday. A statement issued by the PMO said Mr. Modi and National Security Advisor Ajit Doval briefed the delegation and also discussed the issue of Kashmir and the situation there after the abrogation of Article 370. PM told the delegation that there should be zero tolerance for militancy. Still with Jammu and Kashmir, the board examinations for 10th class got underway across the Kashmir division and the winter zone of Jammu region today. A report. 65,000 candidates are appearing in the examinations. Deputy commissioners of all the districts in the valley have established control rooms for smooth conduct of the exams. They have been directed to ensure hassle-free arrangements for the examinations. The 12th class examinations are scheduled to begin from Wednesday. The examinations for class 11th would be held from 10th of November. Educational authorities had earlier provided additional study material for the students to cover the remaining syllabus. With Tariq Rathir from Srinagar, this is Anuja Kumar for AIR News. Leh Hill Council has urged the centre to develop Ladakh as a model sport training centre in the country. The council represented the requirements of sports infrastructure while highlighting the potential for sports and adventure sports in the region to the Union Sports Ministry. Training sessions in the high-altitude region of Ladakh would naturally double the performance levels of sports persons. The Hill Council also urged to recognize ice hockey as the national sport. Ladakh is a naturally ideal place for the sport with local youth representing the country in international events. President Ramnath Kovin today conferred the first National Corporate Responsibility Awards to companies for their outstanding contribution in the area of Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR. Addressing the award ceremony in New Delhi, Mr. Kovin said it is important to internalize social welfare in the corporate culture. He said the companies have shown that it is possible to be profitable while being socially and environmentally responsible. Commending the efforts of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs for initiating the National CSR Awards in the year of Gandhiji's 150th birth anniversary, he said these awards will be conferred every year on the 2nd of October. The President said many illustrious business families, many associated with our freedom struggle, were sensitive to their social responsibilities. Illustrious business families like Tata, Virla and Bajaj and so many others associated with our freedom struggle were sensitive to their social responsibilities. Mahatma Gandhi developed the principle of trusteeship not only from his deep understanding of our various religious traditions but also on the basis of the generosity of industrialists associated with him. With just two days remaining for the swearing-in of the new government in Maharashtra, consensus seems to be still eluding the BJP and Shiv Sena combine. The Maharashtra chief minister, in an informal talk with journalists at his residence today, said the talks were on with Shiv Sena about power sharing and no offer has yet been made to Shiv Sena from their side. He also clarified that the Shiv Sena too has not made any formal demand on portfolios. They will consider the situation on merit. 
He reiterated that the party was not adamant, but the new government in Maharashtra would be led by the Bharatiya Janata Party. More from our Mumbai correspondent. The crisis situation about the power sharing formula between the BJP and the Shiv Sena seems far from ending. While Shiv Sena is maintaining that Chief Minister's post should be on rotational basis and MP Sanjay Raut calling for the BJP to come clean on modalities agreed upon between BJP President Amit Shah and Shiv Sena President Uddhav Thakre, the BJP has once again reiterated that Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis will continue to hold the top post in state. The BJP has won 105 seats and claims support of 15 independent MLAs. Till date, 8 MLAs including independents and those from the smaller parties have already come out in support of the BJP, while Shiv Sena with 56 seats to its tally has the support of 5 independent MLAs and those from the smaller parties. Sonali Ghadar Patil, AIR News, Mumbai. Time now for our Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat segment under which we bring out stories from different parts of the country on the contributions of the Iron Man of India, Sadha Patel, and his role in national unity and integrity. Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 31st October 2015 on the occasion of the 140th birth anniversary of Sadar Vallabhai Patel. Today, we bring you a story from Ahmedabad on the preparations for the run for unity. All preparations are in full swing to celebrate the National Unity Day in the state. The state-level unity run will be organized at Ahmedabad, where Chief Minister Vijay Rupani will flag up the Ikta run. Various local MPs and state-level ministers will flag up the Ikta run in their respective districts. The national-level function of National Unity Day will be organized at Kevadia, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi will pay homage to the great leader Sardar Patel at Statue of Unity. They will unveil various projects at Kevadia. PM will also address the batch of civil services probationers undergoing training at 10 cities. In Kevadia, Upper Nakhun, Air News, and the Bar. On to sports now. A shuttlers Saina Neval and Lakshya Sen will lead the Indian Challenge at the Sarlor Lux Open Super Tour 100 tournament beginning in Germany today. Saina will be looking to end her nine month long title drought with her last victory coming way back in January at the Indonesia Masters. She will look to put her best foot forward when she starts her campaign against Germany's Fabienne Deprez in the women's singles category. In the men's singles, Lakshya will look to grab his third title of the season after having claimed crowns at the Belgian International and Dutch Open. The BSC Sensex jumped over 600 points while the Nifty surged 172 points in the afternoon today. The BSC Sensex was up by 612.96 points at 39,863 while the Nifty edged higher at 172 points. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold bilateral talks with Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and top leaders to address future investment initiative forum in Riyadh. Dialogue respecting sovereignty and non-interference is key to peace and security in West Asia region, says Prime Minister in an interview to Arab News. European Union parliamentary delegation arrives in Srinagar to meet JNK government and civil society representatives. Board examinations for 10 plus get underway in Kashmir division and winter zone of Jammu region. President Ramnath Kovind gives away the first national CSR awards, urges corporate world to be socially responsible. And in badminton, Sana Neval and Lakshya Sen to begin quest for BWF World Tour title in Germany today. And with that, we end the Midday News. <laughs> 